Welcome to a video from TheDigitalLife.com. In this video I'm going to have a quick look at this wireless keyboard and mouse combination. Uh, it's uh, rechargeable, about 90 hours they say from a 2 hour charge. This uh, mouse has two AAA batteries which you need. You get a charging cable for charging the keyboard up with. And it also comes with this little receiver dongle. This is a 2.4 gigahertz range. Um, right, so let me just... Uh, Let's try and connect this up and see how it works. So I'm now going to plug this little tiny receiver into my surface there. No drivers were needed and I th think that's ready to go. Right, so that's it ready to go. It's already paired up just with that. I didn't have to do anything special with it. I need to install any drivers. And the first initial thought of the mouse is quite very nice and sleek little mouse. It's quite light. It's got different adjustments for the DPI, you can have 1000, 1200, 1600 of sensitivity on there. I think there's a little DPI button on there that enables you to toggle through those. So, um, yeah, it moves no problem, works with Windows, it's, it supports the it's got a scroll wheel on there, left and right buttons, and the mouse button clicks as well. So the scroll wheel clicks as well. When it comes to the keyboard, it's actually quite a nice elegant looking keyboard. Let me do a little bit of typing on it. I'm just going to bring up Word just to have a play with this. So there's no travel on the keyboard. If you push it, it doesn't squash too much. It's got a nice action. I'd actually say it's probably better typing on this than it is on the Surface Pro 3 keyboard. The Pro 4 keyboard is slightly better, but Pro 3, this is very nice action on there. And you could definitely use that for a long period of time typing. It's got some function keys on there as well. So you've got, what have we got on here? We've got the volume controls, the muting, that kind of thing, transport controls. Uh, we can launch Microsoft Edge on there. Then we've got the print screen and, of course, it's got a number pad on there as well. So if you're doing some work and you um, you're using Excel or something like that and you need numbers, this is great for you and uh, because it's nice and light and thin that you can just chuck it in your bag so using your surface you pull it out use it with that but it does work I'll say it works on any Windows device it's got all the function keys on there as well so as well as the transport controls you can use the FN keys and uh, unlock it down that way as well so you do F, you know TY F3 FN F3 just like you can on most devices including like the surface and other devices like that there's an indicator light on there to show when it's charged and that's about it really. It's really nice little keyboard combination. I really do like the mouse. I think that's probably my favourite part of it. It's a very slim and lightweight mouse but it's got really good action with it. Good sensitivity on this so um, this is going to come with me in my travel kit I think because um, quite often you need to pull out a keyboard, proper keyboard mouse sometimes and this is an ideal device for that. It's not Bluetooth so it's not going to pair up with any other devices, it's uh, Windows and Mac, just put the little dongle in and you're, you're ready to go. So, 30 quid, really nice handy device, If you're, it could be very useful when you're out and about, but also if you're using a laptop and you're at your desk, you can use this combo, leave that in your docking station or something like that, and then use, you, know, you don't have to use a laptop keyboard. Thanks for watching this video, more on thisdigitallife.com.